So I'd like to tell you about another study we have in rectal cancer. Um, rectal cancers are the very bottom portion of the colon and they are challenging to treat generally because of the location deep in the pelvis. And historically what we've done with, for these tumors is we've given people chemotherapy with radiation followed by surgery and then more chemotherapy. And this trial is actually asking the question, is radiation necessary? Our current modern chemotherapy regimens are so active in rectal cancer that sometimes you have such great shrinkage with chemotherapy, you don't need radiation. This trial is called the PROSPECT study. It's a national study um, run by the U.S. Intergroup. And it's actually asking the question, is radiation necessary in rectal cancer? Um, so patients are randomized to standard treatment, chemotherapy and radiation, followed by surgery, followed by more chemotherapy, or selective radiation. That means that you get chemotherapy first, and if you have a great response, then you don't do radiation. You go on to surgery and then more chemotherapy. But if you don't have a great response, you can get radiation in that setting. In terms of eligibility, you um, have to have a rectal cancer that's not too low to the anus because uh, those tumors that are very low, close to the anus, really do need radiation. So it's something called a high rectal cancer. Um, you have to have disease that we can measure on an MRI. Um, you have to be a candidate for chemotherapy. What differentiates this study uh, from other studies is that it really is transformational. Uh, many trials that are done in oncology build on what's already out there. So you have drug A and you see if drug A plus B is better than A. Um, this trial is a little bit different. We're asking the question, you, you have a treatment, A and B. We're asking, well, does everybody need A and B? Maybe A is enough for some people. And by reducing the amount of radiation, you could reduce side effects related to radiation. That include radiation proctitis, which is chronic diarrhea. That includes, uh, you know, sexual dysfunction. It includes irritation. It reduces the time. So all these things are important factors. So I think this is a really an important study, and it really could change practice.